Okay, so it's been a couple weeks and I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I'm at. So after Anthony and I split, I made my way to Longtan, which is the district of Dung Nai. And I've been living in and out of hotels for the last couple weeks. And I also had my first week of teaching at the school. And the very first day I was super nervous and really scared. And then after that first initial session, everything was amazing after that. And all my classes after that have been just amazing. Like I am enjoying this genuinely so much. It's such a fun experience and it doesn't really feel like work. So I really am enjoying this experience for sure. And I ended up finding a place to move into, which I'm going to film for you guys and show when we move into that place, which will be in probably about an hour. So initially I was supposed to move into an Airbnb about an hour and a bit away, but everyone discouraged me from that. So I ended up canceling that and finding a better deal. My coworker wanted to move in and save some money. And I said, sure, let's do that. So we're roughly paying about 200, a little over 200 Canadian each uh, per month, which is pretty good. So I, um, I'm happy with that. It's a good deal. And yeah, it's close to the school so we can walk there. The only thing is that this area is very industrial, which just makes it a little bit more challenging to do a lot of things. And they still have grocery stores and stuff, but it's a very small town with minimal things to do. So, which leads me to my next point. I am planning on only being here till September. And that was a challenge on its own, getting a, an apartment here because they only do one year leases. And to get a six month lease here in Vietnam, you need to um, put three months up front. So that was a bit of a challenge because we were trying to find something that wasn't going to be so much cash up front but also wasn't going to be a high risk commitment uh, just in case we wanted to leave soon. So we found one home, they agreed to a six month contract and I'm really excited to be moving in there. It is a traditional style Vietnamese home and if anyone is Vietnamese they will understand what that means. I am going to film the the rooms and the house so you guys can see what we got. And I'm I'm happy with it. I'm I really am like it's not exactly how I pictured where I'd be living, but it's okay. Like for a first time teaching experience and living abroad, like really living out of your comfort zone and into a totally different culture where you don't even know the word for goodbye. It's like very challenging. Vietnamese is one of the hardest languages in the world to learn. And it's also the reason why English is so difficult for them to understand because Vietnamese is also very hard for them to understand. Anyways, that's my coworker. She's picking me up and gonna drive me to the house. So I will see you guys soon. Okay, so welcome home. Okay. Okay guys, so we just moved into our unit. We signed our papers and now I'm going to give you guys a house tour. I'm so excited. So this is our living room area. So the entrance is obviously there and then they would put their scooters there as well. So we've got two locked front entrances. We've got L-shaped sofa. We've got a running TV with massive surround system. And then of course our offerings for the Buddha. Can't forget that guy. And we are going to make our way through to the kitchen. So this is bedroom number one. My coworker um, took this room. He was kind enough um, to take it because 
he said the upstairs bedroom was screaming me, so I got to take the upstairs bedroom. So this is the kitchen area, and this is actually filtered water, which is amazing. So we don't actually have to buy uh, any bottles of water. This will just come straight out of the tap, filtered water. I don't know how filtered that will be, but you know, it's it's pretty good. So. And then we've got a full equipped kitchen. So just like anywhere else when you rent, um, normally they don't give you kitchen supplies or anything you have to buy yourself. So we got this place fully equipped. We also have an air fryer, which is amazing. Um, fridge, awesome, and a massive table. So, you know, if we wanna invite friends over, coworkers, we can do that. Uh, the bathrooms are pretty pretty general but you know that's okay it works right and this is a washer which is awesome so we've got a washer inside our unit which is amazing uh, wall fans everywhere which is awesome we definitely are gonna need that so now I'm gonna take you guys upstairs to where my room is I love this spiral staircase by the way it's like heaven it's a main centerpiece for sure of this house so upstairs we've got this like extra room i don't even know what, what we would do for this room or if it's like an upstairs living room or what it is and then this is like a balcony which everything here has locks but we do have um a key ring with a million locks on them so we just got to figure out which one is which and now we're gonna go into my room. Well, not, so we also have a spare room. Uh, so there would be a bed there, but, so technically it's a three bedroom, but we're only staying in two. So this is my room. I need to buy some sheets because they don't provide that, but I've got full AC guys, look at that. That has been an issue on and off in Asia, trying to find proper AC. So I'm thankful that we found that full dresser and a nice, I don't even, I don't know what you call this in, in English, but where I can do my makeup and I've got a full size mirror, which is amaz amazing. I can get ready for school. And yeah, and I got a nice little rug. It's so fuzzy. I love that. And I've got a full fledged TV, um, and that works as well. And I've got another clock, so yeah. And the other thing I wanted to mention quickly is that they also clean the units once, once a week or every two weeks, which if you're from North America, that's not a common thing. You have to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get a cleaner for the house. And here it just comes already included in the price, which is amazing and that's pretty much it for the house tour guys so this is gonna be like a temporary living situation I don't know how long I'm gonna be here um, attentively I'm thinking of actually going back in September I have big plans coming up if everything goes well and everything follows through um, I should be starting a business at some point in October uh, if everything goes well but I'm not gonna say anything now because I am still unsure about it so for now I'm gonna sign off thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time